Welcome to Book of Technical. This video present by Inno91 Green Technologies. This is a touchless doorbell circuit on breadboard. When a hand is placed near the IR sensor, the IR transmitter emits infrared light, which gets reflected back to the IR receiver. The circuit detects this reflected IR signal and activates the buzzer, producing the doorbell sound. The system responds quickly and reliably without requiring any physical contact, as shown in video. How to make touchless doorbell on breadboard. List of components. Breadboard one. Small buzzer one. Transistor BC5471. Resistor 330, ohm 1. Resistor 10K1. IR receiver LED black one. IR transmitter LED blue one. Jumper wire two. Battery connector one. Battery nine volt one. Full list of component. How to use breadboard. Middle gap, divided breadboard into two side. Upper side and lower side. Upper side, there are two horizontals point line. 25 points in horizontal line connected to each other. Same second horizontal, 25 points connected to each other. Upper side, there are 30 verticals points line. Five points in vertical line connected to each other. Lower side of breadboard lines, same connection, as same as upper side of breadboard lines. Two horizontals points line and 30 verticals points line. Now you understand the breadboard pins connection and configuration. Build your circuit on breadboard. Important notes for safe and successful making and testing. Always handle it with care and follow safety precautions to avoid burns or accidents. Power supply. Tip. If your circuit does not work and you're using an old battery, replace it with a new battery for reliable power. Component placement. Ensure that all components are properly and firmly inserted into the correct breadboard holes. Loose connections may cause the circuit not working. Step-by-step -step instruction. Select transistor BC547. Hold flat part of transistor on your side, then shift middle terminal, back side as shown in video. First terminal is collector, second terminal is base, and third terminal is emitter. Insert the transistor pins into the breadboard. Collector terminal. Insert into vertical line number 15 on the lower side. Base terminal. Insert into vertical line number 16 on the upper side. Emitter terminal. Insert into vertical line number 17 on the lower side. Select first jumper wire. Bend jumper wire in U shape as shown in video. Insert one end of the jumper wire into the lower vertical line of the breadboard at line number 17, or any hole in the same vertical line as shown in video. Insert the other end of the jumper wire into a hole in the lower horizontal power rail, near the blue line, which represents the negative rail or ground. Select second jumper wire. Bend jumper wire in U shape as shown in video. 
insert one end of the jumper wire into the lower vertical line of the breadboard at line number 15, or any hole in the same vertical line as shown in video. Insert other end of the jumper wire into the upper vertical line of the breadboard at line number 10, or any hole in the same vertical line as shown in video. Select small buzzer. Buzzer has two terminals. Long terminal is positive and short terminal is negative as shown in video. Insert the long terminal of buzzer into the upper horizontal row near the red line, positive rail, or the same position as shown in video. Insert the short terminal of buzzer into the upper vertical line number 10 or same upper vertical line of breadboard shown in video. Select 330 ohm resistor. 330 ohm resistor color code is orange, orange, brown, and fourth color is silver or gold. Bend resistor in U shape as shown in video. Insert one end of resistor in upper side of breadboard vertical point line number 16, or same vertical line as shown in video. Insert second end of resistor in upper side of breadboard vertical point line number 21, or same vertical line as shown in video. Select resistor. 10K ohm 10K ohm resistor color code is brown, black, orange, and fourth color is silver or gold. Bend resistor in U shape as shown in video. Insert one end of resistor in upper side of breadboard vertical point line number 21, or same vertical line as shown in video. Insert the other end of the resistor into a hole in the lower horizontal power rail, near the blue line, which represents the negative rail or ground, as shown in video. Select IR receiver LED black. The longer terminal is the positive plus sign. The shorter terminal is the negative dash, as shown in the image. Short negative terminal of IR receiver LED insert into the upper horizontal row near the red line, positive rail, or the same position as shown in image. Long, positive, terminal of IR receiver LED insert in upper side of breadboard vertical point line number 21, or same vertical line as shown in image. After insert IR receiver in breadboard, the receiver LED shown in image. Select 330 ohm resistor. 330 ohm resistor color code is orange, orange, brown, and fourth color is silver or gold. Bend resistor in U shape as shown in video. Insert one end of resistor in upper side of breadboard, vertical point line number 25, or same vertical line as shown in video. Insert the other end of the resistor into a hole in the lower horizontal power rail, near the blue line, which represents the negative rail or ground. Select IR transmitter, LED blue. The longer terminal is the positive plus sign. The shorter terminal is the negative dash, as shown in the image. Long positive, terminal of transmitter LED insert into the upper horizontal row near the red line, positive rail, or the same position as shown in image. Short, negative terminal of receiver LED insert in upper side of breadboard vertical point line number 25, or same vertical line as shown in image. After insert IR transmitter in breadboard, the transmitter LED shown in image. Select connector. Connector, red wire is positive and black wire is negative. 
Red wire insert in upper side of breadboard horizontal point line indicate near red color line as shown in video. Black wire insert in lower side of breadboard horizontal point line indicate near blue color line as shown in video. Select battery, battery connect to connector as shown in video. Now your touch, less doorbell circuit is ready. Let's test the result. When a hand is placed near the IR sensor, the IR transmitter emits infrared light, which gets reflected back to the IR receiver. The circuit detects this reflected IR signal and activates the buzzer, producing the doorbell sound. The system responds quickly and reliably without requiring any physical contact, as shown in video. Conclusion The touchless doorbell using IR transmitter and receiver provides a safe, hygienic and modern way to operate doorbells. How to construct the touch, less doorbell circuit. Construction of touchless doorbell. Connect the collector terminal of the BC547 transistor to the negative terminal of the buzzer using a jumper wire. Connect the base, middle pin, of the transistor to one end of a 330 ohm resistor. Connect the other end of the 330 ohm resistor to positive, long terminal of IR receiver LED and one end of a 10K ohm resistor. Connect the other end of the 10K ohm resistor to the negative, ground terminal of the battery. Connect the emitter terminal of the transistor to the negative ground terminal of the battery. Connect the positive long terminal of the buzzer to the positive terminal of the battery. Connect negative short terminal of IR receiver LED to the positive terminal of the battery. Connect the IR transmitter long positive terminal to positive terminal of battery. Connect the IR transmitter short negative terminal to second 330 ohm resistor one end. Connect other end of second resistor to negative terminal of battery. And our circuit construction is complete. The project is working perfectly. How to work the touchless doorbell circuit. Working of touchless doorbell. IR transmitter, LED. The IR LED constantly emits invisible infrared light. This IR light travels forward from the transmitter. Normal condition, no hand present. When there is no object or hand near the sensor, the emitted IR light goes straight and does not reflect back to the receiver. The IR receiver, photodiode or phototransistor, receives little or no IR light. The transistor remains off. The buzzer remains off. Hand detection. When a hand or any object is placed near the IR sensor, the IR light hits the hand and reflects back. The IR receiver receives the reflected IR light. The amount of infrared light received increases, generating a small current in the infrared receiver. Triggering the transistor. The small current from the IR receiver is not enough to drive the buzzer directly. This small signal is fed to the base of the NPN transistor, like BC547. The transistor amplifies the current and acts as a switch. When the base current flows, the transistor turns on, allowing current to flow from collector to emitter. Activating the buzzer. The buzzer is connected in the collector circuit. When the transistor conducts, the buzzer gets full current and starts buzzing. The buzzer remains on as long as the hand stays near the sensor. When hand is removed, the reflected IR light reduces. The IR receiver stops conducting. The transistor turns off. The buzzer stops. That was the working of our circuit. Simple and easy to understand. Component information in details. Breadboard. A breadboard is a plastic board with holes that allows you to plug in and connect electronic components to create an electronic circuit. 
Small buzzer. A buzzer is an electronic device that makes a buzzing or beeping sound. It's used to alert or notify people and is often found in household appliances, computers and other electronic devices. Transistor BC547 is a bipolar junction, transistor BJT. A transistor is a semiconductor device that amplifies and switches electrical signals. 330 ohm resistor. 330 ohm resistor color code is orange, orange, brown, and fourth color is silver or gold. 10K ohm resistor color code is brown, black, orange, and fourth color is silver or gold. IR receiver LED black. IR receiver is an electronic device designed to receive infrared light signals. It works by detecting infrared light that is emitted by transmitters such as remote controls. The main component of an IR receiver is a photodiode or phototransistor, which converts the received infrared light into an electrical signal. IR transmitter LED blue. An IR transmitter LED, or infrared transmitter, is a light-emitting diode, LED, that emits infrared light, which is invisible to the human eye. It functions similarly to a regular LED, but emits light in the infrared spectrum, typically around 940 nanometers. IR transmitter LEDs are commonly used in remote controls, proximity sensors, and other applications where infrared light is needed for communication or detection. Jumper wire. Jumper wires are simply wires that have connector pins at each end, allowing them to be used to connect two points to each other without soldering. Jumper wires are typically used with breadboards and other prototyping tools in order to make it easy to change a circuit as needed. Battery connector. A battery connector is a device that connects a battery to other devices. Battery. An electric battery is a device that stores chemical energy and converts it to electrical energy. We deliver good and productive video. All video available in Hindi, Marathi and English. Subscribe and get new video. Thank you and visit Book of Technical channel again.